The Illustrated History of Union County by Frank Thorne, originally released by the Elizabeth Daily Journal in 1970. In this colorized version, we will adjust the dates to reflect the year 2020. The year is 1609. 411 years ago, on the 6th of September, the ship Half Moon, with a crew of 20 from the Old World, sighted land. Henry Hudson, the captain of this vessel, was commissioned by the East India Company of the United Provinces to find a route to China, but instead he sailed in the Sandy Hook Bay and cast anchor. The next day the natives visited the boat. They were glad to see the white men. Hudson traded with them and learned of their habits and ways of life. Meanwhile, some of the crew were exploring the land. No, Union County was actually formed in 1857, but for clearer understanding, we will refer to the area as it is known to us today. The morning after the Half Moon arrived in Sandy Hook Bay, Henry Hudson sent John Coleman and four crewmen to explore the harbor. They sailed up the Arthur Kill to Elizabeth Port. September 1609, the first white men set foot in Union County. This was at Elizabeth Port. They made contact with the native Indians and learned that the area, New Jersey, was called Swayichby. They took note of the beautiful countryside and departed. John Coleman, speaking to the Indians in picture, was slain by the treacherous arrow of a native as they left ashore, killed because he had not brought gifts to the savages. Sixteen forty three. Before the settlement of Union County, this area was sparsely inhabited by the Lenny Lenape Indians. They were a small tribe numbering about two thousand five hundred in all of New Jersey. They lived along river valleys, occupying a camp about ten years, then moving on to another site. The Dutch that settled Staten Island found them very hospitable. In the year 1643, the Dutch massacred 80 of the unsuspecting natives at Jersey City. The Redmen in turn attacked the Dutch settlement at Hoboken and nearby Staten Island. In later years, there were uprisings in Sussex County to the north. This was the extent of Indian massacres in New Jersey. Fortunately, there was always peace and friendship between the Indians and the settlers of Union County. <laughs> 